Usually when something is left abandoned, it's an item of little monetary value, but in today's video, that's not the case, because these abandoned things are worth a fortune. Join me as we take a look at 15 valuable abandoned things. Number 15. Abandoned Supercars Everyone knows that Dubai is home to multi-millionaires and soaring skyscrapers, yet it turns out that it's home to thousands and thousands of abandoned supercars. Be they Porsches, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, or McLarens, it's estimated that between two to 3,000 luxury cars are abandoned at the side of the road in the city each year. Yet the reason for this is not because the owners are so rich they can afford to do so. Instead, it turns out that most of the cars are left there abandoned because their owners went bankrupt. You see, unlike most other countries, the UAE considers bankruptcy to be a criminal offense, and until recently you could be thrown in jail for not paying off your debts. Rather than stick around to try to find ways to pay, many ex-millionaires and billionaires will simply jump ship and escape to a country with laxer bankruptcy laws, with this being an especially major problem during the 2008 financial crisis. If you ever get the chance to visit Dubai, there's a good chance you'll see some perfectly good cars sitting abandoned. Number 14. A Winning Lottery Ticket As the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And for an anonymous homeless man, that ended up being the case when he found a $4.8 million ticket in a dumpster. While he wishes to remain anonymous, the lucky man was reportedly dumpster diving when he found the abandoned ticket, and after turning it into his local convenience store, he won the massive prize. On this end, I just hope he uses the money to build a better life for himself, so he never has to go on the street again. Number 13. Mayan Pottery Now, generally speaking, garbage men don't manage to pick up rare ancient artifacts in the trash, but a waste remover in Queens, New York somehow managed to do just that when he took home a mysterious barrel from a Soho apartment. More specifically, he'd been contracted to clear a cluttered space owned by abstract artist Clinton Hill. And after mistaking the barrel for trash, he took it and left it in storage. Years later, he decided to open it, and upon doing so, he found a mix of bowls, figurines, and jugs that were made between the years 300 BC and 500 AD, with most of them coming from the Mayan civilization. The total value came in at an estimated $16,000. Due to some legal technicalities, the waste remover was allowed to keep the artifacts and the profits from selling them. While the original job was supposed to cost just 4,500 bucks, the lucky waste remover was able to effectively get a bonus worth almost quadruple his original contract. Number 12, a laptop. While most of the things on this list were abandoned unintentionally, this laptop was one that was purposely thrown away yet found by accident. You see, the likely story behind this laptop was that it was first thrown out by Goldman Sachs trader Fabrice Tour, who was at the time a successful trader of mortgage-backed securities. However, an anonymous person found the laptop in the garage and gave it to a friend by the name of Nancy Cohen. Nancy used the laptop for years until she began to see on the news that Fabrice Tour was being investigated for mortgage-backed securities fraud by the SEC. This prompted her to hand over the laptop to both the New York Times and the SEC. As a result of this fine, the SEC got access to Tour's emails, and it was this evidence that was fundamental in the SEC's investigation into him. Number 11. The Doorstop If I were to rank the things in your house from most to least expensive, we'd bet that your doorstop is one of your least valuable items. However, for one abandoned garden shed in Scotland, the doorstop ended up being worth millions. The story goes that back in 1998, a Scottish counselor was looking for his old robes and chains when he was told by another counselor to check a specific shed. When he checked, not only did he find the robes, but a beautiful bust that was propping open the door. Upon further inspection, it turns out that it was in fact a bust of Highland Laird Sir John Gordon that was crafted in 1728 by French sculptor Edmé Bouchardon. It was then valued at the 2022 equivalent of $3.2 million and promptly exhibited at the Louvre. As such, this costly doorstop sculpture is now on display for millions to enjoy. Number 10. The Jackson 5 Treasure While Michael Jackson may have been the most successful of the Jackson siblings, when they performed as a band, they certainly were an impressive group. However, while it was previously believed that all of their best tracks had been published, the reality is anything but. 
It turns out that Joseph Jackson, who was the father of the five siblings, had stored 273 of their hits in a warehouse and later abandoned it. Sensing the opportunity in 2010, a Toronto entrepreneur by the name of Howard Mann bought the warehouse and upon playing the tapes realized that there were recordings that included Michael Jackson's solos, duets with superstars such as Tina Turner, and performances by the whole family. Because he owns the warehouse, man believed that he owned the recordings along with the matriarch of the family, Catherine Jackson, which puts them at odds with Joe Jackson. However, after a judge ruled against man in 2011, it appears that he got nothing but legal fees out of his speculative investment. Number 9. Nicolas Cage's Comic Book If you're a movie lover, and you've definitely heard of Nicolas Cage, known for directing famous movies such as Sonny and Lord of War, Cage has become a classic actor. But it turns out that he's also behind a very strange entry onto this list. You see, back in the year 2000, he was victim of a home robbery, with the robbers managing to get away with his nearly pristine copy of Action Comics No. 1, which is the comic that featured Superman for the very first time. For years, the whereabouts of this valuable comic were unknown, yet in April of 2011, an unidentified man had a shock of a lifetime when he discovered the comic within the contents of an abandoned San Fernando Valley storage locker. However, unfortunately for him, it was soon discovered that the comic belonged to Nicolas Cage, and so it had to be handed over. However, rather than keep it as a family heirloom, Cage decided to sell it and received a whopping $2.1 million for his copy due to its incredible condition. Number 8. The Schroeder Treasure Of all the valuable things found on this list, one of the most valuable was the Schroeder Treasure. On June 8, 1985, the treasure was first discovered during the demolition and foundation digging of an abandoned telephone exchange building in the Polish town of Schroeder. Dating back to the late 12th to early 14th century, the first part of the treasure to be recovered was a vase filled with 3,000 silver coins, although it wasn't until 1988 that things began to get really heated. That's because it was in this year that another demolition uncovered even more golden and silver coins. While much of the treasure had been taken by locals before authorities could arrive, the remaining artifacts were still incredible. In total, the stash was believed to be worth well over $100 million, with the most valuable items being the tiara of Queen of Czechia and a round clasp depicting the Imperial Eagle of Poland. Today, most of these treasures can be found at the National Museum in Wrocław, Poland, so if you ever happen to be in the city, I'd highly suggest giving this display a look. Number 7. The Coin Collection While many people have secret hiding places in their homes, few are quite like the one found inside of a dilapidated house in Windburg, Pennsylvania. That's because by looking inside a literal hole in the wall, a man was able to find hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of old coins. The story goes that the home had been unoccupied for almost 20 years, and so in order to scrape some money out of it, the children of the former family members had asked a man by the name of Jeff Beetleman to look through the home in search of items of value. As he was surveying the property, he noticed a hole in the wall, and after asking the former owner's daughter about it, he was told that she heard rumors as a kid that suggested that coins were thrown into this hole. Within minutes, they discovered that the rumors were true, as when he went to inspect the first floor wall, he realized that it was filled with over one and a half meters deep with coins. The coins there were minted as far back as 1793, and upon appraisal, it was discovered that they would fetch about 200 grand at auction. As such, this abandoned coin collection was certainly a surprise find. Number 6. A Silver and Gold Cache if you've ever watched an episode of Storage Wars, then you know that abandoned storage lockers can give great returns, as they often hold items of high value. However, in 2011, a San Jose resident stumbled upon the find of a lifetime when he found a massive cache of precious metal inside a storage locker he bought at auction. Now, in the state of California, a storage unit is available for auction if the rent has not been paid for three consecutive months, and the locker in question met this criteria. While the auction was not hosted on TV, it was hosted by Storage Wars auctioneers Dan and Laura Dotson. Once it was over, the locker was sold for a respectably high sum of $1,100. Now, at first glance, the locker didn't look all that great, as from the outside it seemed to only consist of several Rubbermaid boxes made of plastic. However, when the buyer opened one up, he discovered a cache of silver and gold worth about half a million dollars. This made him wealthy overnight and represents one of the best finds in recent memory. And while there's always a chance of getting this incredible of a return if you purchase your own used locker, do keep in mind that such incredible opportunities are few and far between. 
Number five, a piece of modern art. If you're like most people, then you would probably agree that many pieces of modern art don't exactly seem to be worth their price tags. However, in 2003, a New York woman by the name of Elizabeth Gibson saw value where someone else saw trash when she picked up a modern art piece up off the curb while out on a morning walk. The painting she found goes by the name Tres Personajes and was painted by Mexican abstract artist Rufino Tamayo in 1970. When interviewed by reporters, Gibson said she took it home because, quote, even though I didn't understand it, I knew it had power, end quote. And that power turned into dollar signs when it turned out that the painting was worth an incredible $1.05 million when sold at auction. However, Gibson unfortunately did not get to keep the entirety of the proceeds. That's because after holding the painting for four years, she discovered that it had in fact been stolen in 1989, and so she gave it back to the authorities. However, as a reward for doing so, she received $15,000 and a percentage of the sales price at auction. While Gibson wasn't able to completely cash in, we'd say that she got a pretty good reward for her honesty. Number four, a ring with Charlotte Bronte's hair. If you're a literature buff, then you're almost certainly familiar with Charlotte Bronte. After all, she was behind great novels such as Jane Eyre and The Professor, and so any memorabilia belonging to her is especially valuable. As a result, one woman got the shock of a lifetime when she found an abandoned ring that belonged to Bronte herself. Now, the woman in question appeared on the television show Antiques Roadshow, and she told jewelry appraiser Jeffrey Munn that she found the ring in her recently deceased father-in-law's attic. It was locked inside a mysterious-looking box, and after somehow locating the key, she opened this box to find the ring inside. Upon further inspection, it was inscribed with the name C. Bronte, and it not only had the date the author died, but even more strangely had a lock of Bronte's hair underneath the ring's surface. While this may seem pretty gross by today's standards, it was actually quite common at the time, as due to the fact that few people had pictures of their loved ones, adding a permanent relic such as hair to a memento like a ring would help people remember their loved ones forever. If that wasn't crazy enough, it also turns out the ring was worth a whopping $26,000, making this peculiar find a very profitable one as well. Number three, the sports card treasure trove. If you're at all familiar with urban exploring, which is commonly known as urbexing, then you know that urban explorers generally get to visit cool urban spots or abandoned places with the sole purpose of snapping some cool pictures and having a good time. However, some urban explorers in Detroit got the surprise of a lifetime when they found an S-tier sports card collection in an abandoned building. More specifically, the urban explorers were venturing through the abandoned warehouse when they found a room packed with thousands of cards. Most of them dated back to the late 1980s or early 1990s, and not only contained full teams from all the Major League Baseball franchises of the time, but also had a wide selection of hockey cards from the NHL and Ontario Hockey League, and even a large set of NASCAR cards. According to experts, many believe that the abandoned warehouse could have been a packaging center decades ago, and while the cards in the warehouse were only worth between 99 cents and $6 each, the combined total of these cards was certainly in the millions. Interestingly enough, later reports showed that many past urban explorers had simply stolen the cards from the warehouse to sell online, yet now that the authorities were alerted to the stash's existence, it's likely that the original owner of the building will be contacted in order to see if they would like to recover their stash. Number 2. A 1925 Bugatti Type 13 Brescia the Bugatti Type 13 was Ettore Bugatti's first automobile, and it was revolutionary at the time due to its several race victories. By 1925, he had upgraded the car and rebranded it as the Bugatti Type 13 Brescia. And thanks to technological advances such as its four valve heads, it was able to claim the first, second, third, and fourth place positions at the Brescia Grand Prix. It should come as no surprise then that many orders began to be placed for the car, and in 1925 a Swiss car dealer was among the company's customers when he bought three Bugatti Brescias. However, while the first two were paid in full and delivered, the third customer failed to pay the applicable duties on the car. This led to it being tossed in Lake Maggiore, which lies in northern Italy along the Swiss border. It was in this lake that it sat abandoned for decades, until the 1960s it was discovered by a group of divers. Despite this discovery, it remained there until 2009, when a different diving crew raised the long-lost Bugatti out of the lake. 
Unfortunately, the car had been sitting underwater for so long that the tires burst immediately after being put onto dry land, but despite this, the car was given a full restoration and auctioned off to benefit the Damiano Tagmani Foundation, which works to prevent youth violence. This incredible discovery and restoration really had a positive impact. Number 1. The Abandoned Parisian Apartment Sometimes, inheritance stories can get pretty wild, yet few cases are quite as crazy as the story behind the apartment that was abandoned by a certain Madame de Florian. The story goes that de Florian had inherited the apartment from her grandmother, who was part of a certain group of courtesans known as Les demi Mondaines. These ladies were famous for their lavish lifestyles, constant partying, and high-profile suitors. And while this apartment saw a lot of use in the late 1800s and early 1900s, when the madame inherited the home, she did not get to keep it for very long. That's because in 1940, she abandoned the apartment as the Germans advanced towards Paris. And rather than return once the war was over, she continued to own the apartment, but never returned. She kept this a total secret for her entire life until her death in 2010, at which point the existence of the apartment was revealed in the 91-year-old's will. When her family went to see it, they discovered what can only be described as a treasure trove. Left exactly how it was when the madame had left, the apartment was not only a time capsule for life at the time, but also a capsule of high-valued items. These included pieces such as ornate makeup dresser, a stuffed ostrich, and a painting of the Madame de Florian's grandmother that had been painted by the great Italian artist Giovanni Boldini. Just the painting alone was worth a staggering two and a half million dollars, and the rest of the apartment was presumably worth significantly more, making the discovery of this apartment a win for both the family and historians alike. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.